So why compost? Well, you know, a lot of people still feel like there is a debate about whether compost is beneficial or not. And the fact is, it, there have been many studies over time figuring out what actually good compost is. Because even in the 90s, Dr. Elaine Ingham talks about this, they were making compost that were killing things and some that were making things better and some that had no effect at all. And they didn't understand why. So compost, there's a reason why you can find studies that are this and that and all the others, because it's hard to do right. And a lot of people find that discouraging. A lot of people are like, ah, oh, composting is too hard. It's too complicated. You have to have a microscope, all this stuff. And that's not true. Uh, I'm gonna show you how to make compost. It's really easy. Um, but first I wanna talk about why. I'm, in, I'm right here right now with my compost uh, materials. I'm about to make a compost heap for another video. But before I begin, I wanna say, Composting is so critically important because it's us participating in the fundamental natural cycle of decomposition on the earth and it's responsible. It's taking responsibility for our impact, for our footprint. So instead of pushing it towards away, and of course we know there is no away, right? But this whole pushing it towards and away, throwing things away, this away, throw away culture has led to us not having a deeper understanding of who we are, what we are, and how to regeneratively interact with the earth. And the fundamental linchpin in all of this is soil and how we treat soil and how we partner with soil life and how we make compost. Maybe you're doing it passively. Maybe you're doing it actively like I'm gonna be demonstrating with this thermophilic hot compost recipe that Dr. Elaine Ingham teaches. So we have all this great science now to show us, to prove to us. And what's even better than that, what's even better than data and numbers and all that stuff is the actuality that you can do this, that you can go and deal with that stinky, you know, chicken coop or that stinky waste or whatever organic matter we're talking about. And you can flip it into something beneficial. Suddenly the stink's gone like gone. And that means you know the biology has changed. You know that the compounds, instead of you know just being let out into the atmosphere, are being trapped. Those nutrients, that value inherent in that compost heap, in those materials, and later in your soil, in your food, in your body, in your family, in your community, your business, in your culture, permanently. And that's what it really is about. It's about composting at such a high level that it becomes part of our habit, becomes part of our culture. It can't be this arduous ordeal. So why composting? Well, because it is the way that we transform waste into beneficial inputs into our life our sustenance, the soil, the community, the environment, all of the different elements that go into making life rich, making life wonderful, making life great. And that's what's so incredible about soil is that it is the linchpin. It, it's where we come from, it's where we return to, it's what you know, feeds the, the, the plants, which feeds our bodies. You know, and even if the plants are being eaten by animals and you're eating those animals, it's all soil and it's all sunlight. It is all these basic cycles of the earth. And if we're not participating regeneratively, positively, we won't see the benefit. And instead we'll see what we have seen, which is degeneration, which is negative consequences for not participating in this most basic, beneficial and beautiful cycle. I just did a video, if you haven't seen it, on how soil, you know, making soil makes me happy. and. Check that out if you haven't already seen it. I'm gonna be doing a video right here, right now, right after this, on building a thermophilic hot compost, Dr. Elaine Ingham style. <laughs> and we're gonna talk about all the differences between all the other methods that are out there in my course, permaculture, soil, solution, science and solutions. <laughs> in my new course, Permaculture Soil Science and Solutions. And there's actually starting a week from today, a Kickstarter 
that is going to be the course, that is going to be the book, that is going to be the introductory course too. So you don't understand any of this stuff, you're gonna be able to get this all really clearly understood so that you can understand that book and go to that next level. So we've got every step of the way to cover you in this because this is so important. It's the health of your food, the health of your body. It is the health of your garden. It's also how we deal with things that could cause like unhealth, you know what I mean? Diseases, pathogens, you know, uh, bacteria, all these different things that could cause serious problems in our system, our, our, our gray water, our black water, all of these systems can feed beneficially back into the soil, back into the ecosystem, back into the water cycle and heal our planet, heal our world, heal everything around us. It is because everything is soil based. It's that, that, that key, you know, you just turn that key and open up the door to a completely new reality. Grow abundantly, learn daily and compost regeneratively. <laughs> I'm Matt Powers and stay tuned because the Kickstarter is starting soon and we're about to make some compost. <laughs> All right, here we go.